All right, biology students, let's tackle these two questions that I have for you, and I hope we help one another. All right, so the first question says, the diagram below represent a synovial joint. This is a synovial joint. Label the parts A and B, all right? Label the parts A and B. So what is part A? Well, look at it. So it's a 1.41. Part A here, that one there. What is that? That's a joint capsule. It's a joint what? Capsule. What is B? B is here. This part here. That's a cartilage. All right, that's a cartilage. Let's go to 1.4.2. Identify the synovial joint illustrated in the diagram above. All right, because we have this is a hinge joint. It's not a bone socket, no, it's a hinge joint. You can even clearly see. If it's a bone socket, you could have had something like this. Then something inside like this but we don't have such this is just a hinge joint in 1.4.3 it says explain what would happen if fluid in the cavity labeled C this space there dries out so when if if the fluid which is here it draws out the, the one we call the synovial fluid if it dries out there will be no lubrication all right all right, there's no RT, no lubrication. That means when you are walking or when the bones are trying to uh, move in their position, they will be painful, all right? So we can just say, number one, no lubrication. Uh, painful, all right? Painful movements. Uh, even difficulty movements. Let's call it difficulty mobility. All right. Sometimes even inflammation. So all these are the reasons that we can give when that fluid is not there. Name two diseases that can affect the joints. Or oh, here we are talking about the diseases of the joint, right? So there are, mm, there are quite a number. We have got tuberculosis of the joint. Tuberculosis of the joint. We have arthritis. Even dislocation. Dislocation. Also, I've got osteoarthritis. Cancer of the bone marrow, bone marrow cancer. All those, uh, cancer of the all the bones and so on. All those, they're quite a number. <laughs> all right. The next one says the diagram below shows um, a dicotridonous leaf. A, B, C. This is a transverse section of the through the leaf. Give two functions of this plant organ. The plant organ they're talking about is a leaf itself. What are the functions of a leaf? I'm going to write 3.2.1 number 1 for photosynthesis. For photosynthesis. Uh, also for transpiration. What else? For gaseous exchange. There are quite a number, even for respiration itself. All these are functions of the leaf. Then 3.2.2. 
says what? What is the collective name for the parts labeled A and C? The name given to A and C all together. That's what to call a mesophyll. This and that, that we call it a mesophyll tissue. Alright, that's we call it a mesophyll tissue. Then we have 3.2.3. Name the metabolic process that takes place at B here in that empty space that is gaseous exchange. Nothing else. In 3.2.4. Identify the letter and the name of the tissue with compact cells where photosynthesis takes place. Now, photosynthesis takes place in rectangular and applied cells. We call the parisade mesophyll cells. So that is part A. Part A, these are rectangular kind of. And the name is the uh, parisade. Mesophyll. Mesophyll. I think I've done my part. We have revised with you. Well, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on TikTok and Facebook, and for online classes, nothing much available.